Ever wonder if you could change the color of water just by breathing into it? In my hand, I have a vial of bromothymol blue. Now, aside from being hard to pronounce, bromothymol blue is mostly known as a pH indicator used for managing the level of weak acids in everyday spaces like fish tanks and swimming pools. When it shows up blue, it's in a basic or a neutral environment. When it's not blue, well, that's when you have a problem. In this experiment, I'll show you how a common gas like carbon dioxide we breathe out can offset a water's pH level and cause a surprisingly colorful reaction. So let's start by adding several drops of our bromothymol blue into a glass of drinking water, giving us a beautiful ocean blue. Next, I'll take a straw, plop it in, and start blowing into the water. And look at that. My exhaled CO2 reacted with the water to form a weak acid called carbonic acid, changing our placid blue to a much less appealing green. But all is not lost. Let's see what happens when I drop a scoop of baking soda into our green water. And look at that! Now we see the reverse happen as the calcium carbonate neutralizes the carbonic acid in the water, bringing back our beautiful ocean bromothymol blue. This experiment helps illustrate what's happening on a much larger scale to our oceans. You see, as more carbon dioxide is being pumped into our atmosphere, our oceans absorb some of that CO2, resulting in ocean acidification. This pH shift is strong enough to dissolve shells. It poses a major threat to our sea life and to the health of the oceans themselves. And since we can't drop a whole bunch of baking soda into the ocean, we must continue to find ways to reduce CO2 emissions and keep our oceans that beautiful and neutral blue.